Hello there and welcome to my video showing you all about my macOS ultimate hybrid setup. As someone who works both full-time at a day job as well as part-time as a content creator, it's important to me that my setup meets all of my demands and this one does it without fault. My goal with this video is to show you why I did certain things and which gear I picked in the hopes that it maybe helps you with your setup as well. So with that being said, let's jump right in. The star of the show is the Mac Mini M2 Pro from 2023. Armed with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a very powerful combined CPU and GPU processor, this powerhouse can handle everything that I throw at it. Whether it's video calls with friends, work colleagues, or other creators, or simply working on projects as part of my day job or video editing, this Mac can handle it all. On the camera front, my Canon R6 mirrorless does its job as both a day-to-day -day camera for meetings as well as for recording content, the Canon R6 coupled with a 40 millimeter pancake EF lens is absolutely amazing. As the screen of the R6 is a little bit small, I use a Godox GM55 camera monitor to see myself on the big screen before routing it to my Mac computer. As one camera is not enough for me and my content creation efforts, I additionally use a Logitech Brio 4K mounted at the top of my desk frame. Handling all of these inputs requires more connections than the Mac Mini has, so I use an iTech Thunderbolt dock to take care of that for me. Somewhat atypically, I'm using a shotgun condenser microphone to capture my audio. The Godox VDS M2 is placed above my desk using an extender arm from a pole attached to my desk. This ensures directional audio quality while keeping it out of sight. Speaking of sight, a pair of Elgato Key Light Airs are what I use to illuminate my face for both video calls and recording. And speaking of recording, I have a Rode Wireless Go 2 so that I can also record in spaces outside of my desk. Controlling all of these devices is made simple by the Elgato Stream Deck sitting right within arm's reach. My arms also don't need to travel far while using the Logitech MX keys for Mac keyboard coupled with the infamous MX Master 3 mouse, also from Logitech. A ninth generation iPad not only gives me more screen real estate, but also a place to draw. Maybe now is a good chance to talk about those masks behind the desk. Those are all names of people who have supported me on YouTube or Twitch. So why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here. To make my space as cozy and inviting as possible, I also have a Samsung S61B soundbar mounted above my desk to the back of the pegboard. I added a touch of personality to my space with this retro light bright sign. As this is a space where I spend a lot of my time, I want it to be as comfortable and healthy for me as possible. That is why I have a standing desk. It not only allows me to change the position of working between sitting and standing, but it also allows me to adjust the height to sit on other things like an exercise ball. Both my desk and chair are from a company called Yasa and the chair is one of the most comfortable I've had in a long time. In addition, the desk allows you to store multiple positions and given the height I have it at, the halfback chair slides neatly underneath the desk when I'm not using it. The Desk Pro 2 has no issues holding the weight of a 43 inch ultra wide curved, a 27 inch vertical and 34 inch vertical monitor. I do also have an Elgato green screen should it be needed. But I mostly get by with my Philips Amaranth LED lights 
that are both remote controlled and put out a ton of power. With the flick of a switch, I can convert my office from daylight to 4,000 lumens of pure RGB LED goodness. Not only is this great for video work and content creation, but it also gives me a very dynamic background for meetings and calls. As an alternative to the key lights, I also have an LED bar above my desk. I hope this video has given you some insight into how I decorated and equipped my space for both content creation and day-to-day -day work. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and hopefully I'll be seeing you soon.